Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International with Samar Arjawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the President of the People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping, following his re-election for a third term. His Majesty the King wished him every success in fulfilling the aspirations of the Chinese people for more progress and prosperity, stressing the Kingdom's keenness on boosting the bilateral relations for the common benefit of both countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, along with the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, performed today the funeral prayers for the late Her Royal Highness Princess Al Jauhara bint Abdul Aziz bin Abdul Rahman Al Saud at the Imam Turki bin Abdullah Grand Mosque in Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister conveyed the condolences of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and to the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness also expressed his condolences to the Royal Family of Saudi Arabia. Members of the Royal Family of Saudi Arabia and a number of senior officials also attended the funeral prayer. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the President of the People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping, on being re-elected as President of China for a third term. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister wished President Xi continued success in his endeavors and further progress and prosperity for China, highlighting the Kingdom's commitment to strengthening the bilateral relations. His Majesty the King deputized the Minister of the Royal Court Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, to attend the horse race which was held for His Majesty's Cup organized by the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club in Rafa Sakhir. Also present were His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the deputy chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, and vice president of the Supreme Council for Environment, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, their Highnesses and Excellencies, diplomats and horse racing fans. His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa crowned the winners of His Majesty the King's Cups where His Highness presented His Majesty's Cup for Arabian Horses to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness and Sheikh Hamdan bin racing. Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Our his Highness also presented His Majesty's Cup to imported horses to the grandsons of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa also presented His Majesty the King's Cup for locally bred horses to the winning trainer Fawzi Nas and the Charter Cup to His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Other trophies were also presented to the winners. The race comprised eight events. Blue and white silks, that's the grey on the outside of Kohilat Al Adiat, and the back marker is Obeyan. So they're leaving the back straight behind them, heading towards the final 800 metres. And Rosie Jessup has got Al Managi in front, leads by a length and a half now. Musanan has never been on the bridle, second position, but parked out. Kohelinum Zarea Neil Callan tracks the leaders with Krushan, purple cap to the outer. Kohelinafas 1708 is tucked in behind uh, the pace setters.
is followed by Kohelet Al Adiat and then Kohel Nafas 1695. And as they turn in, Ubeyan is last of all. They're about to face the final 400, and it's Musanan who's trying to regain the advantage now from the driven along Al Managi. Here comes Kohel and Umzareya. Kohel and Umzareya. Neil Callum presses the button, hits the front as they head down to the last 200 meters. To the outside is Kohel Nafas 1708. Ubeyan coming home really well. Yellow cap to the far running rail and they're inside the final 200 it's Kohelan Umzareya stretching away and the champion is in front here he's going to be crowned champion again Kohelan Umzareya rules the Arabian bread tree in Bahrain it is Kohelan Umzareya the winner second Kohelan Afas 1708 third Obeyan and fourth Kohelan Al Adiat deep intrigue forgot to set the alarm and lost a few lengths early in a way smartly modern news and down the center buffer zone is well to the fore and also running prominently deep intrigue now working his way forward to the wide outside further back to Mace byline and Gerald Mosse in front by about a length it's their day today Alan Smith Ali Adiat racing and Gerald Mosse byline rules the roost second place ecosystem deep intrigue across the line uh, with Goume and then further back to May start so it is Byline who has taken it. Byline has a one. was withering and smartly into stride and courage as a short hop to the first turn valyrian steel is racing prominently what a welcome first ruler massaman gomon and zagato are just in behind the pace setters as they negotiate the first bend uh, one who's not really settling in midfield is recovery run looking towards the rear division tower wreck is in that group with passion and glory running off the pace ray and poor is further back and the kovex kid is the bat marker they go on down the side of the track and the running is being made by Encourage. This horse leads by about two lengths, being followed in second by Valerian Steel. Massaman third, what a welcome, is next, being chased by Withering. Recovery run now stepping forward. First ruler, Gomon and Zagato are all in mid-pack as they approach the turn at the 1600. Classical wave, passion and glory are further back and they're being chased on down the far side by Tower Wreck and then comes up along the inside of and poor and the back mark of the Kovex kid inside the final 1400 they move and it's Jimmy Quinn and Valerian Steele the leader leads by around two lengths so followed by Encourage and then Massaman what a welcome first ruler recovery run and then up along the inside is Withering chased by Gomon who's three wide Zagato is buried in mid pack with classical wave to the inside Danny Tudope has switched off passion and glory 
as they leave the back. Tower Wreck has only got a handful behind, and they include Ray and Paul and the Kovex Kid. Running inside the final 800, and Valerian Steel has got about two and a half lengths on this field. Encourages in second place. What a welcome yellow jacket. A massive man working hard. Recovery run stepping forward. First ruler is in behind the leading bunch. Gomon now is being pushed along to the right. Passion and Glory is coming there sweetly as they head down towards the last 400. Lots of moves around the track over on the far side. First ruler down the outside. Passion and Glory. What a welcome recovery run. And they're being chased home by Encourage. And it's the God Dolphin pair now inside the last 200. Passion and Glory versus First Ruler. Passion and Glory at the moment holding the upper hand. Edges over to the far running rail. Danny Tudor and Passion and Glory from First Ruler. The Dolphin 1 2. Back in third place, uh, running on nicely, was Towerek again, followed by the Kovex Kid. So it is a Godolphin 1 2. Passion and Glory. And they're racing, and Bint Al Jazeera began smartly for Neil Callan down the centre. Battle of Talas prominent, Al Tariq on the wide outside as they go on towards the turn. First bend, really competitive stuff around the first corner, and it's Horatio nipping up the inside. From stall one, Horatio has got the lead. Bint Al Jazeera second, Aslan black and white jacket to the inside. Al Tariq and Manama girl follow, then comes Epic, and a Battle of Talas is next. Sinjar is off the pace, and the bat marker is Tariq. They go down the side of the course with 2,000 metres still to go, and Horatio's got about five lengths clear. Bint Al Jazeera and Aslan dispute second place. Manama Girl is in a line of three for fourth position. Manama Girl's on the inside of Al Tariq and Sinjar. Battle of Talis and Epic are next, and Tariq is wagging the tail of this field as they move on inside the final 1,600. Going on down the far side is still Horatio, the leader. Horatio by almost two lengths. Second place, Bint Al Jazeera. Half a length to Aslan on the inside. About a length to Sinjar, who just shades Al Tariq. Half a length then to Manima Girl, who's three parts of a length up on Battle of Talis. Then comes Epic, and the back marker is Tariq. They may have slowed things down a fraction as they enter the back straight. They continue their run down the far side. Inside the last 1,200, and it is Horatio, the leader. In second place, Bint Al Jazeera. Then Manima Girl, Al Tariq, Sinjar in the grey jacket. Noseband is widest of all as they move towards the end of the back straight. And it's here that Bint Al Jazeera claims the advantage from Al Tariq, Sinjar, Manima Girl. Epic in the green and blue is on the move. Back Battle of Talis within striking distance. Tariq is next. Aslan has lost ground. And Horatio is now right at the back as they approach the final bend. Entering the final 600. And it's Bint Al Jazeera in front. But Al Tariq steps forward. And it's half a length down. Manama Girl is next. Epic is just in behind. And then Sinjar to the right. Battle of Talis tries to come on well for Gerald Mosse. But now hangs under pressure. They run inside the final 400 metres. Here is Epic to the outside to lay down a big run now. Epic from Al Tariq, Bint Al Jazeera and the Philly Manima girls just in behind them. They head down inside the final 200 and it is Epic from Al Tariq on the wide outside. Manima girl is trying to come on well. It is Epic finding plenty in front and they go close home. Epic by about a length. It is Epic at the end of an Epic finish. Epic the winner. Second place, probably just Al Tariq from Manima girl just in behind them. Bint Al Jazeera Cross the line alongside Battle of Talis. So it is epic today, today. Ep
under the auspices of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness's Show Jumping Championship will be held tomorrow, Saturday, at the Military Sports Union Square in the Rashid Equestrian Club in Arafa, with a strong and wide participation of local riders and stables. The championship will be the focus of attention after His Highness's directives to allocate three cars and cash prizes for the spectators and fans, in addition to 10,000 dinars as prizes for the riders who will take the first places in the championship. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed his keen desire to support the stables and riders in equestrian sports, indicating that the show jumping championship will have a significant impact on the further development of the sport in the coming period. His Highness wished every success to all the riders participating in the tournament and to provide the best levels to continue the development of show jumping in the kingdom. The championship will witness the holding of six competitions for the public and juniors, which will witness a wide participation of stables and riders. Bahrain's hosting of the 146th General Assembly of the Inter-Parliamentary Union and the accompanying meetings tomorrow is an important event due to the status of the Union as a global organization with a wide international weight and presence. The hosting also reflects the local, regional and international success of the Kingdom's parliamentary reputation. The national parliaments of 178 countries who are members of the IPU, while 13 regional parliamentary assemblies are associate members. The IPU primary purpose is to promote democratic governance and accountability as well as cooperation among its members. Other initiatives include advancing gender parity among legislatures, empowering youth participation in politics and sustainable development. It also defends the human rights of parliamentarians through a dedicated committee made up of MPs from around the world. Twice a year, the IPU convenes over 1,500 parliamentary delegates and partners in a world assembly bringing a parliamentary dimension to the global governance, including the work of the United Nations and the implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. The President of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau, Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority and Honorary President of the Hamala Charity Society, Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronized the mass wedding ceremony for the two sects organized by the Hamala Charity Society. Sheikh Salman stressed the importance of social initiatives that promote national cohesion and pr principles of coexistence, tolerance, the foundation of which were laid by His Majesty the King, who supports the efforts aimed at motivating society, its individuals and institutions towards consolidating these noble values. He said that such efforts facilitate young people's future marriage and enhance the stability of their families. He congratulated the grooms, wishing them a happy married life. He also praised the efforts made by the members of the board of directors of the society for the successful organization of the ceremony. The Deputy President of the Supreme Judicial Council and President of the Court of Cassation, Sheikh Khaled bin Ali Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Nawaf bin Muhammad Al Ma'auda, received a delegation from the Singapore International Arbitration Center, headed by the Chief Executive Officer of the Center, Gloria Lim. The official visit follows the meetings that took place in Singapore, which aims to develop the joint cooperation in the field of arbitration. In order to respond to the demand of international trade by providing a suitable legal environment, for resolving international commercial disputes. The Deputy President of the Supreme Judicial Council and the Minister of Justice affirmed the depth of the friendship 
of cooperation between the two countries and their people. They pointed out that the Bahraini legal structure reflects the best international practices in the rules and mechanisms relating to arbitration for the sake of the developing international commercial arbitration industry in the Kingdom of Bahrain and developing a vibrant and attractive seat for regional and international dispute resolution. The Minister of Sustainable Development, Nur bin Ali Al Khalif, met with the representative of the United Nations agencies. During the meeting, the minister affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's keenness to continue consolidating areas of cooperation with the United Nations agencies and to enhance the benefit from the experiences and initiatives that are being adopted in various fields, especially in support of the goals of sustainable development. She praised the role of the United Nations agencies in supporting the goals and efforts of the Kingdom of Bahrain in achieving sustainable development and aligning with the the Kingdom's programs and Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030, all of which aim to promote the achievements of the goals of the Kingdom's comprehensive development process. The resident coordinator of the United Nations activities in the Kingdom of Bahrain and representative of the United Nations agencies appreciated the important role played by the Kingdom of Bahrain in enhancing the outputs of the partnership with the United Nations and support its goals in achieving the sustainable development.